Hello guys, this is Behemoth here, and today we're in the VK452B. We're on the Mines uh, Hill, Mines map, or Hills in the replay folder. And I'm platooned up with CO2 tank and Soul Drain. CO2 tank is in his T71, and Soul Drain is in his S51. Now, in my vk 52 b on mines, I always go for the right side of the map. The little corner where most of the heavies will go to. That's because, well, I'm not fast enough to make it up the hill. And I do not have the gun depression to effectively fight on it. So I'm just going over there, and by the looks of it, we have a lot of mediums. And, well, they wouldn't stand a chance if they were go for the hill and try to fight over it. So, most likely we will have support from above and, well, that's what we want. Now this is a very hefty tier 9 game. A lot of other tier 9s are uh, in this game as well. And, by the looks of it, I'm here with just a Leuven and a WZ131. And then all the support from uh, on top of the hill. Now I'm just waiting until the Leuven has his fair share of... Well, fair share of this damage to the face. And so now I'm in my position of side scraping. We only have one artillery left. Well, they started with one artillery. And this Leuven does not understand what I'm doing or just wants to be quite annoying. Because I'm side scraping, this is what I do best. Unfortunately just hit the rock right there. And if the Leuven just can protect my flank from the M1 and 3 which wants to go over the hill then all should be fine and dandy. Ice 8 right there, just track him. And and I wanted to make him a easy target for artillery or the levy behind me. But now I can see his lower plate and just shoot him through there. Right now you already can see I have three bounce marks right on the side of my tank. It will only become more if they just want to go for us. Now the thing is with side scraping, I need my room to maneuver. And I cannot do that unless... Well, if someone is in my rear then it's a really tough thing to do. And I'll just keep him here, he can shoot me because there's a rock in the way. And my rate of fire is below 9 seconds. My reload time is below 9 seconds and if he doesn't have any repair skills then I will keep him from tracked and he is pretty much screwed. I lay with dunks his shot and I just keep him here and well I think that wasn't a very good shot or something magical happened but I see that the T41 is going down and well S14 just fired so I need to go up and kill this M103. Unfortunately just ding him right there. But let's face hug him and go for the little cupola right there. I hit him. Probably just hit his uh, viewports which is not as good as I was hoping. He hits my cupola and I hit his cupola. And I see through eagle eye view that he indeed has a destroyed target finder, a range finder. Now uh, with the help of the T44 and affirmative if you say that after a thing near you is, has been killed which you've been brawling with, then you just effectively say thank you. That's the etiquette of a uh, world of tanks. I was trying to see if I could see S14 and I could and destroy him right there. At least that I was. That's what I was thinking, but the I8 was uh, just a little bit ahead of me and killed him for me. Which is not bad at all. 
It's well. I would I would have liked to had a kill by the, right now. The KV five is just stuck right there. He's on a hill. He can't shoot down on me, and I just keep shooting at his RTT two turret. R two D two turrets. Yes, that's what I said, right? Anyway, IS is all the way back there. And he's on fire, and that's the first kill of the game. Finally, after 3k damage done, I finally got a kill. IS-3 wants to go for this ammo rack, but this shot went just a little bit too bright, and it's just, you know, not his engine, and just not his ammo rack. And I just finished him off right there, and the IS-8 finished him off. I wanted to finish off the IS-8 and that's the last kill of the game. And well... The T-29 says Noob cannot fair play. Well, what of things is not about fair play. If you can take an advantage then you should. That's the whole point of playing the game and well... Any advantages you can get, you should get. That's, uh, that's the name of the game, and you should stick to it. But let's see how well that one went. And that went fairly, very well, actually. I almost got 4k damage done. Which is quite a lot with this gun. Uh, it's a E-Tiger 2 gun. It is has quite a lot of penetration for a tier 8 gun, but for a 9 gun it's so-so. Uh, it could be better, and it will be when I finally, finally get the heavy, heavy gun on it. Now, as we look at the leaderboards, you can see that the Ice Ace will have gotten 8 kills, which is very, very good as well. Not to be underestimated, 8 kills, but he's quite below me. And I think the main reason of that is, is because he didn't do a lot of damage. He did about 1.5k less than me. And well, maybe he didn't uh, as much of soaking as I did. So, kill stealing isn't as rewarded in this game as doing damage. Some of you might notice, some of you might not. But this was a very, very well played game of our entire team. We completely decimated the enemy team, and well. We definitely deserve that win. The only damaging shot I was getting was the M103 would just shot through my cupola when, oh, when we were face hugging. Was the only damaging shot I was getting, and oh, that means I do not have a lot of repairs. Actually, damage received over 2k, which is good. Uh, if every shot would just penetrate it and done full damage, then well, I surely would have died. So that's that's a good game. Not a whole lot of kills, but a lot of damage done, which is very very good as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. This is the Behemoth, signing off.